incredibly steep roads of Colombia's second city, Medellin, have made it the home of gravity biking. An underground sport where the goal is simple, never break. How many years have you been racing? I compete since the nine years with some friends who have departed. Honestly, most of the boys you started racing with are dead. Yes, the majority. So, unfortunately, a blow in this is mortal. Right. Que personas se chocan, ya logran la muerte o se fracturan o quedan en coma. Ah, go right. Bit of cutting oil helps so it doesn't take the edge off the drill bit. These boys know what they're doing. I'd raced the motorbikes in Ireland and in England, and I've lost many teammates, many friends, many. But I love it, so that's why I keep racing. So I suppose is it something the same for you? Do you, do you love the risk? Why? why? La ventaja de esto es que esto se convierte un, en una droga tan pesada que muchos de los pelados que cogen esas bicicletas prefieren estar en esto que estar parchados en otras esquinas haciendo y deshaciendo. This is the pure drug. This is the After a ritual sharing of scars and metal inserts. Screws in there, and then you see my back, I have a big boot in my back, you see? <laughs> Can you still see it? Feo, feo. Guy is finally accepted into the gang. <laughs> they all load up into a truck, ready to head to one of Medellin's highest roads. The bikes are going in there. We've sort of got a plan, but not really. We're fairly well into this project now. We sort of know you cannot police the Colombian people. Loco, give us a thumbs up. So really, anything could happen. I have no doubt, when we're on the flight on the way home, I'm going to be picking my kecks out of my scabs. I think that's going to be, you know, how many bloody wounds on my asshole. I've done plenty of that. Yeah, we're 2,600 metres, as it is now, twice as high as Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the UK. So, yeah, we're doing all right, really. Long way to go. It was about two kilometre course, I think, isn't it? Gravity racing has been outlawed in other Colombian cities. In Medellin, it is a legal grey area, at best. Yes, this is an illegal activity. But the police have closed the road off to allow this illegal activity to happen. Welcome to Colombia. It's time to race. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, boys, right, let's have a go, then. <laughs> this is me. This is me. You won't be long getting something that's gone wrong, though. Up to now, this has been my favourite day in Colombia. <laughs> I'm getting tanned now. And, you know, of the risk. Hey, 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 That's what Colombians do. They deal with risk. Come on, oh, we're in the slipstream now, mate. In the slipstream. They deal with it every day in loads of different walks of life. And I love it. It's a bit of me, that. Come well, on, let's have you. Guy, <laughs> who used to race motorcycles on the road for a living... Come on, big man. Uses all of his experience to vie for the lead. The inside line here, I think, Bones. Oh, hey, look at Come on! Come on! I'm getting tan now! Two bastards! I was leading that, and then they've all tanned me right at the last minute. <laughs> hey, hey, wow. No velocidad, exacto, excelente. Mucho control, mucho control. Gracias, yeah, I love it, I love it, mate. I love it. I love it. What a way to finish it off, eh? She's a long way down there, mate. Off you. Amazing country, amazing people. That's got to be one of the greatest views in the world. It's got to be. You've just got to take a few risks to, to see it. How very Colombian. <laughs>